Hi everybody, welcome to class. I'm Helen, if you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, nice to see you again. Today's practice will be an intermediate vinyasa flow class. It's a bit fast paced with some strength building and working on the hips. If you find this a little bit challenging, you're welcome to try my 30 days of motion challenge, which is 30 classes designed to be done over 30 days to help you develop a healthy movement practice. You can find the link below this video. Anyway, without further ado, we will begin today and we are starting in child's pose. So bring the knees as wide as the hips, big toes touching, seat to heels, Allow the belly to drape between the thighs. You can stack the palms one on top of each other and bring the third eye to the tops of the hands. You can stack the fists or if it feels okay, you can bring the forehead all the way down to the earth. Whatever posture you choose, begin to surrender down and relax and thank yourself for coming to the sanctuary of your mat carving out some time out of your day to do something good for your body, for your heart, and for your mind. Allowing every limb to just relax, melt into the earth. Bring in the awareness to the breath in and the breath out. We inhale, maybe an audible exhale. <sighs> Great way to signal to the body that it's okay to let go. Maybe noticing the parts of the body that are in contact with your mat. Noticing the sensation. Notice in the support of the earth. Take a couple more breaths here. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly come up to hands and knees. Starting with the hands directly underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. When you get this position, bring the seat back to the heels. And then on an inhale, rising up, lifting the right arm up to the sky in a twist. As you exhale, the right arm curls under, hovering above the earth. Inhale back up to the sky. Exhale, hand comes down, seat back to the heels. Side B, inhale, come up. Lifting the left arm up to the sky. Threading that needle, hovering. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back down, seat back to heels. Again, inhale, come up. Right arm to the sky. Thread the needle, hovering. Inhale, lift, exhale, right hand comes down, left leg extends behind, swing it to the right side of the mat, tucking the toes and looking over the right shoulder. Inhale, back to center, release the leg, sit back down. Inhale, come back up, left arm to the sky, left arm threads, Left hand lifts back up, hand comes to the earth, right leg extends behind. Right foot touches the outside of the left side of the mat, looking over that left shoulder. Inhale back to center, bring the knee down, seat to heels. Moving on, inhale come back up to tabletop, inhale right arm to the sky. Thread the needle, inhale, lift back up. Exhale, right hand comes down, left leg extends behind, 
Swing over, tuck in the toes, looking over the right shoulder. Back to neutral, keep it hovering. Right arm extends for spinal balance. Release everything down, seat back to heels. Inhale, tabletop, left arm to sky. Threading the needle, hovering. Inhale, back up, left hand down, right leg extends behind, swing it to the left side, tucking the toes, looking over the shoulder. Inhale, back to center, hovering, left arm extends in front, spinal balance. Everything comes back down, seat to heels. Inhale, tabletop, right arm to sky. Hovering, thread the needle. Inhale, back up. Right arm to the earth, left leg extends behind. Left toes to the right side of the mat. Back to the center. Right arm extends, spinal balance. This time bending the left leg, reaching back for tiger pose. Holding onto that foot. Back to spinal balance. Everything comes down, seat to heels. Last time. Inhale, come up. Left arm to the sky. Thread the needle, hover. Back up to the sky. Left hand comes down. Right leg extends behind. Swing it to the left, looking over the left shoulder. Back to the midline. Spinal balance. Bend this right leg, reach back for tiger. Opening that shoulder. Extending back, spinal balance. Hand comes down, knee comes down. Seat to heels. Take a breath. And inhale back up to hands and knees. Moving the hand, one hand print in front, tuck in the toes, seat comes up, first downward facing dog. Upper back is wide, feet are around hip distance, hands are around shoulder distance, ears between the biceps, upper back is wide, and the tailbone is to the sky, the spine is elongated, breathe here, maybe pedal out the legs, that feels good. And then start to settle in your dog. We'll do a couple of plank rolls, grounding into the base of the knuckles and the thumb. On an inhale, engaging the belly, coming forward, rolling through the spine, on top of the toes to a plank. Exhale back. Inhale, articulating through the spine, engaging the whole of the front body. Back to downward facing dog. One more, inhale through to plank. Then exhale back to dog. On an inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. Coming forward to plank and bringing the right knee to the right elbow. Back to three-legged dog, foot comes down, side B, inhale, left leg lifts, exhale, articulating through the spine, left knee to left elbow, back up to three-legged dog, downward facing dog, again, right leg lifts, exhale, right knee to right elbow, maybe take a chaturanga, inhale, back up, Back to three-legged dog. You can always just stay with knee to elbow. You don't have to do the chaturanga. Inhale, left leg lifts. Left knee to elbow. Chaturanga. Back up. Three-legged dog. Downward facing dog. One more each side. Inhale, right leg lifts. Right knee, right elbow. Chaturanga. Back up. Three-legged dog. Downward facing dog, last time. Left leg lifts, left knee to elbow, chaturanga, push up, three-legged dog, 
downward facing dog. From here, walking the hands back to the back of the mat and surrendering in a forward fold. You bend the knees a little bit, or if the availability is in the hamstrings, you can straighten them, come into a ragdoll, maybe just gently sway side to side, releasing that lower back. Belly's inside. Maybe releasing the neck. Bring the hands down to the mat. Heel toe the feet out. So the feet are at an angle. And bring the seat down, coming into yogi squat, malasana. Backs of the arms are pressed inside the thighs. Spine is long, crown is tall. Palms to the chest and breathe here. Reconnecting with the breath. Maybe you can point your prayer down with the backs of the hands together like this, stretching out the wrist. After that work we just did on the hands. Reconnecting. And then bring the hands back to prayer. From here, we'll move into some malasana stand-ups. I don't know how to, what else to call them. On an in inhale, ground into the feet, lifting the seat up. I mean, all the way up to standing. Pointing the palms to the sky. Then back down through the center line, sit back down. Again, inhale, lift. Full body stretch, exhale down. Maybe this time, inhale, come up. And as you come up, the right leg comes up off the floor and you sit down. Inhale, come up, left knee comes up. <laughs> and come back down. One more each side, inhale, lift, right knee up and down. And left knee up and down. Taking a breath here, Malasana reconnecting. And plant the hands. Seat comes up to the sky, heel toe the feet back to parallel, draping the body over. Walking the hands back out to a plank pose, holding here for a breath, full body engagement of the front spine, straight arm strength, bending the knees, sitting the feet, the seat back towards the heels. From here you can spring forward or walk any way you want, come into forward fold at the front of the back. Inhale all the way back up to a mountain. Exhale, palms to chest. Wonderful. Nice little warm up there, should feel pretty good. And we will begin. Inhale, palms come up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Open the hip, stacking them one on top of the other. Just enjoying this for a moment. And then as you exhale, return the hips to neutral. Step right foot forward between the hands. Left hand is planted, low lunge twist. Right arm to the sky. Pulling this right hip back. Breathe in here. The next move from here will be a step through. You may want to make a little bit more space at the front of the mat, moving the right foot out to the side and the left hand slightly over to the left. Bring your awareness to the back foot. And on an inhale, you'll bring it through and we'll come into this kind of like pistol squat, pulling the right elbow back, then step 
back, back to this low lunge twist, hand comes down, back knee comes down, half split. So the right foot is forward, inhale coming up, lifting the back knee, planting the back foot flat, warrior two. Taking a few breaths here. I'll go through this sequence once slowly so we can pause in each posture and then we'll speed it up. Keeping the hips parallel, arms out to a T. From here, the transition is half moon towards the back of the mat, sweeping this right arm down, rotating the feet, left foot is forward to the back of the mat, left hand comes down, half moon. Stacking the shoulders, back leg is bone straight with the foot flexed, stacking the hips, maybe a little micro bend in that front leg, whatever feels good for you. Steady focused, Steady breath, steady mind. Right hand, the top hand comes down. Rotate the hips down for standing split. Planting the hands. Back knee bends and come into one jiva squat. Right knee comes behind the left calf. Inhale back up to standing split. This time right knee comes back down as if you're in a jiva squat. We're coming into seated twist. Left hand comes behind, right arm up and twisting like this. Hello. Breathing deep. Lengthening the spine as you inhale, rotating as you exhale. Enjoying this twist. Then rotating the body back forward, maybe rocking forward onto the hands and taking a vinyasa from here. Jump back, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Now we're facing the back of the mat. Breathe in here. Reconnect. And we begin side B. Inhale, left leg lifts, open the hip, stacking in this scorpion shape. Really enjoying how it feels. Keeping both shoulders even, equal weight in both hands. Transition to low lunge twist, neutralize the hips. Left foot steps up between the hands, right hand remains grounded, left arm to the sky. Easy twist. Transition here is that kick through, so create some space at the front of the mat, maybe moving the left foot slight to the left, the right hand slightly to the right, bringing the awareness to the back foot, the right foot, bringing it through. Pulling this left elbow back and then we go back to the twist. Hand comes down, back knee comes down, half split. Left leg is forward, tipping from the hip crease. Tuning into the breath. Then inhale, transition, warrior two. Plant in the back heel. Hips are parallel to the earth. Arms to a T. Gazing point, middle finger of the front hand. Shoulders are relaxed. Torso stacked over the hips. And breathe.
transition is half moon to the what is going to be the front of the mat coming through right hand comes down stack in the hips stack in the shoulders maybe gazing up to the sky back leg bone straight foot flexed engage in the core focus in the mind the breath the eyes top hand comes down to the earth rotate the pelvis to face down to neutralize it one jiva squat back up to standing split then jiva squat your way into a seated twist right hand comes behind left arm comes up and we twist like this <laughs> lengthen in the spine on the inhale Rotating on the exhale. Reconnecting. And on an inhale, slowly turn the head back forward. Bringing the hands down, coming onto this front foot, maybe jumping back. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in here. Okay, so that was a lot. We'll go through it again and we'll speed it up a little bit. Now it's a familiar in the body. If you don't get it, don't worry. You can always come back to the class. Sometimes it's good to switch things up and do sequences a little differently as it stimulates new neural pathways in the brain and it keeps us, our brain cells engaged, active and young. Okay, right leg lifts, inhale, stack in the hips, scorpion tail. Exhale, a low lunge twist, right arm to sky. Plant the left hand, left foot steps through, kick through. Use the core, step back. Low lunge twist, hand comes down, half split. Warrior two. Half moon to the back. Standing splits. Jiva squat, seated twist, rotate to the front, maybe take a vinyasa, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Take a free breath. And begin, left leg to sky, open in the hip, scorpion tail. Step up, low lunge twist. Step back foot through. Back to half twist. Hand comes down, half split. Transition, warrior two. Half moon on the right, standing split, jiva squat, seated twist, vinyasa. And again, right leg lifts, open the hips, right foot steps up, easy twist, left foot kick through. <laughs> half twist, hand comes down, half split. Warrior two, 
half moon to the back. Standing splits, Jiva squat, seated spinal twist. Vinyasa. Take a free breath. And again, left leg lifts, open the hips, scorpion tail. Left foot steps up, easy twist. Right foot step through, left elbow back. Back to the twist, hand comes down, half splits. Warrior two. Half moon. Hand comes down, standing split, jiva squat. Seated spinal twist. Hand comes down, vinyasa. And then bring the knees down. Take a child's pose, maybe roll out the wrists. Reconnect. Notice how you're feeling in the mind and the body. We'll do another little sequence, tucking the toes, downward facing dog. Reconnecting here. And we will begin rocking forward to plank, rolling onto the right side of the right foot, coming into side plank, stacking the feet, or you can stagger them, gauging the whole of the right side body. Shoulders are stacked, spine is long. Lift the top leg. And the transition will be to a low lunge, the left foot stepping forward. Using the strength of the core and the leg, step forward, come into this low lunge. From here, we will move into half moon on the left side. Grounding down into the left foot, maybe coming up onto the right fingertips, then the left comes out and we open out into half moon. From here, maybe bend the top leg and come into Chapasana. And the transition from Chapasana will be to Dancer. Put a micro bend in the standing leg, engage the core using all your strength. We come up to Dancer. And from here, releasing the back leg, coming up to Standing Star. Standing figure four, palms to chest, and sit down into this standing glute. Back up to standing staff. Swing through into warrior three. You can have the palms at the chest or extended out in front. Keeping the right leg lifted, hands come to the earth and maybe jump back to a one-legged chaturanga. Take a vinyasa. And knee in downward facing dog. I hadn't anticipated how difficult that was 
to do on the grass. <laughs> Pure Vida. Okay. In our water plank, rocking on to the left side this time for side plank. <laughs> Lifting the top leg. Engaging that core and then using the strength of the core and the leg, step up into this easy twist. Transition from here is to half moon on the right. Right hand comes down, maybe come up onto the left fingertips, give yourself a little push and we open up into half moon. Easy breath, bending the top knee, chapasana, or candy cane, or I can't remember what the other name is for this. Is it something like blade of grass or something like that? I can't remember. The transition from here is to dancer. Activating that core at Malabanda will help. Maybe a micro bend in the standing leg. Focusing. Coming up to dance, pose. And then releasing that back leg. Coming forward for standing staff. Palms to chest. Standing figure four. Sitting back into the glute, keeping that front foot flexed. And then coming back up to staff. Swinging through to warrior three. <laughs> Hands come down, jump back one-legged chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Knees come down wide, child's pose. Oh, take a breath here. Reconnect. Slowly roll up. Come to sit on the heels for a moment. And bring the seat to the earth, extend the legs out in front. Do a few seated stretches, bringing down the nervous system. I feel my heart is really elevated at the moment. We wanna bring ourselves back down, lengthening out of the waist, Arms come up to the sky, tipping forward from the hip crease, folding over the legs. Maybe you press the thumbs into the bottom of the big toe joint, pulling the feet open, lengthening and then descending. Surrendering as you breathe. Maybe letting go one millimeter each time you exhale, even half a millimeter. And inhale, slowly coming back up. Bring the right foot in, or the right knee into the chest. Hug it tight, lift in out of the spine. Allow this right knee to flop open. 
tall waist. Right arm comes up to the sky. As you exhale, folding from that hip crease, grab the outside of the left foot. Lengthen and twist the chest towards the left and then descend over this leg. The left hand can be flat to the earth, maybe next to the thigh, whatever feels good. Feeling a sensation in the right hip, outer hip. As you inhale, slowly come up, keeping hold of this left foot. Maybe bend the knee, bring it into the chest. And you can keep it bent or we're twisting around the left hand comes behind or maybe straighten it you got it straight maybe the left arm lifts so you're balancing kind of then come back to center maybe grabbing the foot with both hands you can always have this bent remember Keeping the spine tall and straight. And then gently releasing down in super slow motion. Bring this right knee in, extend out. We'll do the other side. So recalibrate here on the center line. Left knee comes in, allow it to flop open. Tall spine out of the waist. On an inhale, arms come up. And as you exhale, the left hand reaches forward, grabs the outside of the right side of the foot. Maybe tenting these fingertips, getting that length in the spine, and then coming forward. As you inhale, slowly lengthen the spine and come up. Bend this knee, maybe extend it straight. Do this twist, this balancing one-legged seated twist. There's probably a Sanskrit name for it that I don't know. Nice tall spine. This feels really good, this posture. Coming back to face forward, maybe grabbing the foot with both hands. You can always keep this knee bent. Tall spine, lengthen. Releasing this leg, allowing it to come down, using the strength of the body, shuffling forward a little bit, and we'll come down onto the back, releasing all the way down. <sighs> Feet are planted underneath the knees. On an inhale, lift the pelvis up to the sky. Backs of the arms flat to the earth, breathing here. Imagine the tailbone is going towards the backs of the knees. So you're lengthening out the lower back. And when you're ready, slowly bring the hips down. Knees come in one by one. Give yourself a little hug, rocking and rolling side to side. And then when you're ready, release the legs one by one. Out into final relaxation, Shavasana. Palms to the sky, feet are flopping open. Every muscle is relaxed. Closing the eyes. And turning your awareness 
inside. Start to bring your awareness to the furthest away sound that you can hear. And then bring your awareness to the closest sound that you can hear. Maybe it's your own breathing. Bring the awareness back to the fingers and toes. Maybe giving them a little wiggle. Start to roll out the wrists and the ankles. Maybe rock the thigh bones in the pelvis. Bring the feet into the midline, legs straight. Arms overhead, maybe interlacing the fingers for a full body stretch. Then one by one, the knees come into the chest. Giving yourself a little hug and a squeeze. And when it feels good for you, roll over onto your favorite side. Pausing. Using the hands like a pillow under the cheek. And then when you're ready with the eyes closed, slowly push up to a comfortable seat. We'll bring the palms into the chest in a prayer, thumbs pressing into the sternum. Take a brief moment to thank yourself for practicing, connecting with the body, connecting with the heart, connecting with the mind. When we are on our mat, we are really stripped down to who we truly are. We can't hide behind anything. It's just us, ourselves on the mat. This is really where we start to learn about ourselves is how we tackle these yoga postures and the things we say to ourselves are a reflection of how we move through life. Bring the palms up to the forehead, to the third eye. Bring them to the lips and back to the heart. Thank you for practicing with me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that class. It's a pretty beautiful day here in Costa Rica. The sky is so blue. I'm going to film it now so you can see what I was looking up at. It's pretty wonderful. Anyway, I hope the sun is shining where you are and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.